baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Colorado Rockies. It's baseball. It's the show, and it comes your way next. Herman Marquez is on the mound for the Rockies in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, we'll get a chance to look at a power right-hander that can get it up there to mid-90s and a great assortment of off-speed pitches. You'll know if Marquez is on early, you'll start seeing a lot of swings and misses. And if that's the case, expect him to stick around long in this one. Ready now is Andrew McCutcheon, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. Oh, it has him looking silly here. It's 0-2. The offensive game plan today is certainly to see the ball up. This guy is known on the mound for sinker changeup combination. He's going to try and establish down in the zone to get swing and a miss or ground balls consistently. You have to find something above the belt to get loose on. Now the 0-2 pitch. Down the left field line and deep. Again, he sends it out of play. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Now a swing and a miss on the slider as the leadoff man is set down on strikes to open up the ball game. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. Previous history with Herman Marquez. He's three for nine. He's taken him deep once. One out, nobody on. Into the corner and slicing foul. Hey, when you come out of the middle round, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. And another foul ball. Now a ball hit towards Story at short. He's got it. And that's the second out. Time now for a glance at the Phillies batting order in this one. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Yeah, I think Alec Bulb is certainly a guy we are excited to watch play. He hit over 330 last year. That basically means every third at bat he's getting a hit. Pitchers fear him because he can flat out rake. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate as he'll take a look at ball one. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. There's the good knuckle curve, a ball and a strike. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. And now the Rockies will go on offense for the first time. No score. Chase Anderson gets the starting assignment for the Phillies. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Chase Anderson, Matt, a pretty good pitcher. 
a really good control. He has a three pitch mix, a fastball, curveball, and the straight changeup. His changeup has gotten better. As a matter of fact, if he has that straight changeup, it makes his 92 to 93 mile an hour fastball look that much better. If he's on, you'll know early. He'll be getting a lot of quick outs. And now, Rymel Tapia. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now, here's the pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh. 1 and 1. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line in right, but this is going to wind up out of play. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Now the pitch drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out but that'll get foul it's 0 and 2 now nothing in two count and the pitch fouled away. O2 once more. He is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. The wind up and the 0 1. And he fouls this one off. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Nope. That misses one and two. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. And it's fouled away. Hey, this guy is dialed in right now. Two strikeouts and still working ahead. This is going to be a tough test for the offense. And he chased it in the dirt. And that ends the inning. We've played an inning. No score here on the show. As we begin the second inning in Denver, here's Heidi with an update on the weather conditions. Well, Matt, the grounds crew members that I talked to prior to the game said the weather we're experiencing right now is expected to move on as the game progresses. They said they'll put extra effort into keeping the field dry until this rain dies down. But despite it being a little wet at the moment, we should get this one in uninterrupted. 
Heidi thanks and Dero I'll send this one to you as an infielder these are games that can really challenge a player at times you have to stay focused though for me a little dampness a little rain a little weather coming through might actually do the infield dirt a little good some guys like to keep it bone dry I like it a little wet ball stays down and you know the heavy stuff has finally arrived this has got to be the hardest rain we've seen all afternoon slow little roller to third reined in on the first and there's one gone here to start the second That's good. all right guys so here's how the Colorado Rockies set up defensively and let's focus our attention on shortstop Trevor's story we get it big time power but also adequate on the defensive side taking over after Troy Tulowitzki left couldn't be easy and Trevor's story did a heck of a job that brings up Alec Bohm. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Well, we've That's mentioned it. the conditions aren't the ideal with the rain coming mm -hmm. down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. Bases are empty here with two away. And here's the left-handed hitting shortstop, Didi Gregorius now. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fouled away. The next 0 2. Ground ball right side, straight into the shift. McMahon gathers it in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. Leading off for the Rockies, the right fielder, Charlie Blackman. First pitch of the AB now. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Hey, this offense better be prepared to pull a trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. Left side, but well fouled. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. The next 0-2. Lofted in the air out to right field. Harper has a read on it. He's got it one away. That is good. So here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. 
And let's focus our attention on shortstop Didi Gregorius. Not only has this guy been knighted, yes, they call him Sir Didi back in his homeland, Curacao. He's one of the best ball players coming down the pike, starting with Andrew Jones, Xander Bogarts, and it's Didi Gregorius this time. Hits from the left side of the plate with power and the ability to go in the hole with one of the strongest arms in the game. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. One and one to the Rockies first baseman. And there are the umpires working this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. You know D-Roll, Patty Johnson, you know, decent strike zone, but isn't always super consistent. I think that's one of the things that irritates players and pitchers. Yeah, you're going to see a few glares, not only from the offensive guys, but maybe the guy on the mound as well. He needs to be a little bit more consistent. One, two is the cut fastball, but he holds back two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Well, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates that in this exists. one, guys. That's five batters base, faced, four Warriors. strikeouts. That's going to be a tough Six pace man. to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. Here's Ryan McMahon now. Now a ball lined to the left side. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Might have to change your game plan in the box right here. If he's going to pound away, might have to work the opposite field. Bottom of the second here with no score. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. He's had great command of his pitches all day. I don't mind him trying to go down right there and try and get a swing and a miss, but a nice job by the hitter to lay off that one in the dirt. Hit on the ground toward the left. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. You know, D-Row, it's not always easy to hit in the day games. First five hitters, five up, five down. Six-hole hitter, though. He must have gotten a good night's sleep last That's night. That's exactly where I was going, Dan. First five guys in the order looked like they were still asleep rolling out of bed. Those day games will creep up on you. Six-hole guy was locked and loaded. Josh Fuentes to the plate now. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. From the stretch. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. And it's fouled away.
The 2-2 one more time. Gets him looking up around the letters. One left for Colorado. We'll move to the third with no score. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Now the pitch. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. Marquez has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead and account 0 2 and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Here now is Adam Hazley. Gets a small piece near the plate. That rolls foul for strike one. No swing on the knuckle curve, even at one and one. Hit hard towards center. And the Phillies are into the hit column. Nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Fastball middle cut places it right back where it came from. At the plate now, Chase Anderson. Into right field, that's a base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. A lot of traffic hitting the base pass first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second. Looks like a big inning could be brewing. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, McCutcheon is up over 1,700 base hits at this point in his career. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. Hazley on second, Anderson at first, one gone. Another one sent foul. Ready with another 0 2. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left field. Into the bleachers and gone. So a three run blast to straight away left and the Phillies open up a three to nothing lead. And you can see why they love this guy. He's a leadoff guy with some serious pop and he pounces on this mistake and knocked it right out of here.
And that will bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. No contact there, and it's one and two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at-bat will continue. Again, a one-two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And this is hauled in just shy of the track out there for out number two. Now batting the right fielder, Bryce Harper. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First delivery to him. Three runs already home here. And that one yanked just foul. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball and it's still 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball, two strikes. Shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. But the Phillies use the long ball here and they get three on this three run home run. We play two and a half. It's now three nothing Philadelphia. Elias Diaz, the next to hit. His lifetime go. batting go. line against Chase Anderson. Yes, yes. He's got five oh, base yes. hits in 18 at bats. Yes. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Liner in there for a base hit. Hey, nice AB right there. With the pitcher coming to the plate, your job is to get on in front of him. This should be interesting. Does he get the bunt sign? Do we play a little billy ball and pull it back and try and play chicklets with the third baseman? Let's see what happens. In now, Herman Marquez. As he'll take a breaking ball then off the plate for ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Fouled off. Pulled high in the air out to left field. McCutcheon is under it. One away. Now 
battle. The left fielder, Rival. Digging in will be Rymel Tapia looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Set and the pitch. <laughs> now the one oh. Misses for the second ball. The 2 0 on the way is swung on and missed, strike one. Now the 2 1 is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Two two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Now the payoff pitch home, and he popped him up. Boom in foul ground, and no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Taken high and deep to right. Back goes Harper at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now battle. Number one. So a runner at first with two away. And up steps Garrett Hampson to bat. Has a look. Now the pitch. Winging strike, and now it's 0-2. Down 0-2. Maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. From the belt, the pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. From the belt, the pitch. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Rocky Strand one, still down three nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first Heidi Watney standing by with a report. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Joe Girardi during the commercial break about the Phillies offense. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. All set for the start of the inning, and in steps the catcher, JT Real Muto. For me, this is an important add on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it, but keeping the pressure on, building that lead, that's how you bury someone. Real Muto, originally from the Sooner State of Oklahoma, he's a veteran of seven years at the major league level. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Now pitch on the way. 
And there's a base hit on the line. Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, d -Row. And to be able to hang in there on an 0-2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2-0, 3-1, 0-2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. Stepping in now, Alec Bohm. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball, one and one. Real Muto aboard here at first with nobody out. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. That misses and we're even at two and two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Three runs, four hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Here's Didi Gregorius. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. In there, a base hit. They'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. Gene Segura standing in. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. As a look, now the pitch. On, he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0-2. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. First and second now, one man out. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Count one and two. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. That's his second strikeout of the game. I would be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Into the box, Adam Hazley. Popped up, prone in foul ground, and a diving effort, but it's out of his reach, a foul ball. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. From the belt, kicks and deals. And a pitch takes off inside and it gets away. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's one and two.
from the stretch. High in the air out towards shallow right. Blackman is under it. And he's got it for the final out of the frame. Phillies leave a couple. They lead it three to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And in to hit next, shortstop Trevor Story. Trevor Story. First pitch of the A.B. now. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. The 0 1 pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0 and 2. Into the windup and the pitch. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now here in the middle innings. He's up over one in the inning up to this point. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. Here's Charlie Blackman now. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Flyed out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The wind up and the 0 1. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Certainly not showing any signs of intimidation with these middle of the order guys. That's back to back K's. And the three and four guys are harmlessly back in the dugout. Here's CJ Crone now. Owen won the count. Struck out in his first at bat. Owen oh, one count and the pitch. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. No runs, two hits, no errors in the ball game for the Rockies thus far. A ball and two strikes now. Hit hard back up the middle. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Into the box now, Ryan McMahon pulled toward right center field. Harper able to track it down for the third out. One left for Colorado. They trail it here three to nothing. New inning set to get underway and set to stand in as the veteran pitcher Chase Anderson. Anderson. First pitch on its way. 
hit in the air down the left field line. Tapia is in pursuit. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now batting the left fielder Andrew McCutcheon. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. Well Matty we know he's got the timing on the fastball locked in. That's what he got a hold of on that home run in the previous at bat. You do not come off the heater have to be leery of the off speed but stay on the fastball he's got to throw it again. Fuentes will wait on it Two gone. Now batting the first baseman Reese Hoskins. So two out nobody on and that will bring up Reese Hoskins. First pitch coming here it is. Turned on but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on they could start something serious. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, and it's gone as they add still another. Reese Hoskins with a solo shot as the Phillies have opened things up now for nothing. Hey that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy power hitter and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno number one man you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else and he did just that. Here's Bryce Harper now early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side he's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. A little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Two out nobody on. Protecting on 0 and 2 so we'll do it again. Now a swing as he rifles this one into center for a base hit. Boy this has been a tough one for him so far D Rose seventh hit of the game yep. already they're really making him work. Yeah 100 percent Dan as Dustin Pedroia says it's a laser show out there. Here comes manager Bud Black out of the dugout heading for the mound and he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds and he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Jordan Sheffield takes over here with a runner at first and two gone in the inning. JT Real Muto will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. As a look, now the pitch. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. High and deep down the left field line. Another 0 2 home. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. You gotta be happy. Phillies get one in the frame courtesy of this solo home run. On to the bottom of the fifth. It's now 4 nothing Philadelphia.
Welcome back to Coors Field in Denver as we check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right, Heidi, thank you. Third baseman. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Josh Fuentes stands in as he looks at a called strike. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Stan alive putting together a really good at bat here. The next 0 2. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. At the plate, Elias Diaz. Lays off 1-0. He singled in his first A.B. The 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Bases are empty, one man out. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The 1 2. Hit out towards second. On to first, and there were two down. The pitcher. Number three will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number three. First offering. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Good arm action on the circle change swung on and missed 0 and 2. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch.
Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he is in to third with a two out triple. Yeah, he was on cruise control for a while, posting a lot of zeros. But after he gives up that triple, he's going to need to put some work in if he's going to get out of this inning unscathed. At the plate now, Rymel Tapia, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1 0. Popped him up. Hoskins is under it. And the inning is over. No damage done after the two out triple. Mark, Dan, and I are back with more after this. Now I've got a choice to sacrifice myself. Where I can... Yulise Chassin takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Out of the plate, Alec Vohm struck out in his last trip to the plate. Here's the first pitch to him. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Struck him out. Now that one out for the Phils in their half of the sixth, mm -hmm. and that'll bring up Didi Gregorius. First offering on its way. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind, nothing and two. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. One out, nobody on. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. The classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. So now to the plate, Gene Segura. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. Bases are empty here with two men out. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. The next 0 2. Grounded slowly to the left side. Story picks it up. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They lead it 4 to nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and up steps Garrett Hampson to bat. For the Rockets, the center field, number one. Now the first pitch. 
Runs up and gets this one down. And the throw to first will be in time, so they stamp out the bunt attempt. Well, he was planning that before he even got in the box, and he got it down, but it wasn't quite good enough to put him on board. So here is Trevor's story. No hits to this point. First pitch of the A.B. now. Sends that one out of play for strike one. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality A.B.s. The 0 1 pitch. And there's ball one. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy. And this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. The 1-1. One, one. Strike two swinging. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. Bases are empty, one man out. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. That's 10 strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, no he right could here. rack up Number quite a few 19. more before he's done. Charlie. Still a lot of game left in this Locked one. Man. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The wind up and the 0 1. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. Seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count. And, and a big reason why is they're swinging at all kinds of stuff that's not even in the strike zone. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They're down four nothing. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Adam Hazley. The center fielder, Adam. Now here's the first offering. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. Legs churning, he's headed for second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. You could tell he was thinking fastball all the way here, and that's exactly what he got. He was able to get the bat head out front and pull it into the gap in the right center. Now they're set up pretty nicely for a good inning after that leadoff double. Now batting the pitcher. To the plate now, Chase Anderson fouled away. He's working on a one for two game so far. The 0 1 on its way. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Hazley is on his way home. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. Obviously, they got a little over aggressive there. When you've got the lead like this, you can afford to do that a little more. We'll see if that lost run ends up being a factor at all. Andrew McCutcheon will stride in one more time as we flash you back to earlier. This was a big blow right here as he leaves the yard with plenty to spare. First delivery to him. Mm -hmm. 
Anderson leads off first with one away. Now McCutcheon belts one carrying well to left field. So a two run homer down the line in left his second of the game as they pile on it's now six to nothing. Second home run of the game right there he is locked in at the plate you hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone in now Reese Hoskins. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1 0. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Chassin steps into the windup. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's 2 1. Now, this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. Solo shot here to left, his second home run of the game as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself, you're missing over the heart of the plate. Yency Almonte comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Standing in now, Bryce Harper, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 0. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And there are two away now. Now batting, catcher, JT Real Muto. Up next, JT Real Muto. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. Now the first pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So the top of the seventh isn't over yet after the two out base hit. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump. But this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Stepping in now, Alec Bohm. Swing and a blooper down the right field line. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Now batting. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And not in time as the second run scores. 
Man, you can't hit it any better than that and keep it in the park. As we take a look here, you can see that it hits high off the wall. Almost a three-run homer, but will have to be content with a two-RBI double. Into the box, Gene Segura. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. And no one can corral that one. Base hit. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Attack on six more as they just continue to turn it on in this one. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. It's the Phillies 10, and the Rockies nothing. Last half of the seventh here. And here comes the first baseman, C.J. Crow. C.J. Pitch on the way. The 1 0 home. Change his speed there, but it's taken for a ball two and two. And it's late to his afternoon of work, and the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up. But man, he's been good so far. The two two. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Good pitch right there to run the two seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as a result. So now to the plate, Ryan McMahon. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. And through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. Hey, you know, Matty V, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very rarely do we see guys get through the seventh inning. So he's through the sixth here with one out at Mark DeRosa. So far, so good. A pretty decent outing. Yeah, and I think it's going to be batter to batter here for the manager if he's going to continue to ride this hot hand or if he's going to go to the bullpen. Swing and a liner. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second now out. Batting. Third baseman, Josh Fuentes. Two away now in the Colorado seventh. And here's Josh Fuentes to the batter's box. Now the pitch. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Two out, nobody on. Fly ball out toward left center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado. Lead looks insurmountable here. They're down 10 0. And now here is Adam Hazley. He's two for three and looking for more here. Adam Hazley. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hit out towards second. McMahon fields it cleanly. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now
Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Robert Stevenson will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Chris Owings will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Next here is Chase Anderson and an opportunity here for a fourth plate appearance here this afternoon and you have to say he's really earned it. First pitch coming here it is high fly ball out to straightaway center. Hampson is there two gone. The left fielder number 22 Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon stands in looking for home run number three right here as you see what he's done so far in this one. From the stretch here's the pitch. And there's a base hit on the line. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Hey guys I think the pitcher was just trying to steal a strike Up right there. I do not think he expected to get ambushed on an 0-0 get me over breaking ball. But that's exactly what happened. At the plate now Reese Hoskins swung on and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. Over the bleachers and onto the concourse, a home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left. His third home run of the ball game as this lead got even wider. Well, talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hack trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that in a baseball game. To the plate now, Bryce Harper, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Oh, one pitch. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. But the fight and strike for a pair, both coming on this two run home run. Bottom of the eighth coming up. It's the Phillies 12, and the Rockies nothing. Leading up for the Rockies, the catcher. Oh, yeah. Yeah. First pitch on its way. Fly ball out toward left center field. Hazley will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number now one. The third baseman, Fred Owings. Here's Chris Owings now. His dominance continues on the mound, but it seems like he might be running on adrenaline only at this point. Yeah, he's been so great in this one. You want to see him finish what he started, but you also have to start worrying about things like injuries. He's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, and some guys are just more capable of that than others, but not a lot of good things tend to happen when you've worked as hard as he has in this one. A ball of no strikes. One out, nobody on.
sent on the ground out to second. And there's out number two. Now batting left fielder. Fly ball. Sophia. So the Rockies lineup turns over and to the plate. Rymel Tapia. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Now here's the first offering. High in the air into shallow left center. McCutcheon is under it. And that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Just about given up for dead. It's 12 to nothing. So now into the box is JT Realmuto. His career numbers in this matchup, a very impressive five for six. He's also hit three home runs from the stretch. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Gone to lead off the inning. JT Real Muto with a solo shot as they just continue to pour it on here. Guys, do you believe what we're seeing here today? With six home runs so far, this lineup is turning in a performance for the ages at the plate. Yeah, Matty V. Hey, D Row, this is what Coors Field is all about, right? You come here to see runs, and that's what you saw today. I just like this lineup. They didn't worry. They were going to hit homers regardless, but there's so much green grass out here playing in Denver. You stay on the approach that you're going to stay in the big part of the field. Next thing you know, you're back spinning stuff out of the yard. In now, Alec Bone. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Hampson comes on now, and he has it one down. Now batting, shortstop, Didi Gregorius. Stepping in once again is Didi Gregorius. He drove in two runs on a double in his last at bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to AB. Yanked on the ground down the line. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. But fortunately, he'll hold on at first with just a single. Hey, not an easy thing to do right there, d -Row, with that stacked no, infield bad. on the right That's side. To hit it through where the shift is, have to hit that in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he found a good result right there, Dan. Pitcher actually executed right there, got him to hit it where he wanted to, put good barrel, good contact on that ball, and was able to find the hole. At the plate, Gene Segura rounded weakly down the line toward third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Gregorius stands at first with one out. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, bang. These guys are pros and they're tough, but I know that one hurt. He'll never show it, though. Too much pride at stake. Next to hit, Adam Hazley grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Weak grounder down the first baseline. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. But the Bills tack on one more on this solo home run. Last chance coming up for the Rockies. Phillies on top. 13 to nothing. Leading off for the Rockies, the center fielder, number one. And 
And now the first pitch. Drilled down the line. But this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one. And this guy's been victimized three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. Trevor Story steps in now. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Oh, one pitch on its way. Pull exercise. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. On the move is Harper. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now that the right now with the plate is Charlie Blackman. He's their last Blackman. shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Pitch on the way. You got to love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound you could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. Here's the 0 one. A swing and a high drive to right center field. And that is off the wall. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Obviously as a pitcher he wants to finish what he started. But when you have that pitch count north of 115 pitches you have to be concerned about his health and the wear and tear on his arm might have to take him out of this one really soon. So that will bring up C.J. Crone and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah Matt they've been really shut down so far in this one they've had runners on base but haven't been able to string anything together. Set. Here it comes. Ball left outside. Blackman stands at second with two gone. Swung on and chopped up the middle. On to first, and that will seal matters here this afternoon. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against them. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. 13 nothing the convincing final score. The Philadelphia Phillies hit six home runs as a team on the way to a win. Chase Anderson is the winning pitcher of record. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com.
time of the ball game, three hours and 43 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.